So here's the moment we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this. Right. Now, I don't know about you, Dr. Scott. We haven't done this before. We're going to try something called Rapid 10. So oh, I'm going to wow. ask you questions. Rapid. You know, sometimes presidents don't talk very fast. We're, I know. Well, we're well, real, we're you real know. careful what we say. Right, right. I I'll understand that. So we're really going to get to know some things about Dr. Scott that we didn't find out earlier today. Okay, so so you, you have tenure, right? <laughs> Oh, you don't have No, tenure. I don't. Oh, that's right, you don't. No. Okay, go ahead. I didn't, Administration. Mean, I didn't so, mean anything by that. I might have to. Uh, <laughs> do you have the uh, B list of questions, Jacob? <laughs> yeah. uh, go ahead. Let's just keep no, we'll it. Okay. Number we'll one, close. hometown. Where are you from? Baxter Springs, Kansas. Baxter Springs, Kansas. Yeah, home of Gene Bicknell and Hale Irwin and Lee Scott and all kinds of wow. great folks. What was in the water down there? I don't know. Yeah. Good values. Maybe Amy and I need to good, move down there and get good, cold drinking that water. I would just say water. good values. Great. It's a great town. Baxter Springs, Cherokee County. Mm -hmm. Right. What's your favorite movie? Big. Big, Tom Hanks. I love that movie. I don't, I don't know why, but I just love that movie. It's and I love when he's on the piano on the floor oh, and he's that's dancing. A, that's and a great can, movie. It's a charming movie. It's charming. I know. I just, I do. I've always, I've always liked that. I was told I looked like Tom Hanks growing up, but I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you can kind I don't of see know. that. I don't know. So it that. might be the hair. Yeah. But <laughs> what's your favorite band? It's got to be Area 51. <laughs> I, mean, just, I mean, just off the top of my well, head, Area wow. 51. That's great. It sounds like a heavy metal group. So uh, <laughs> that's funny. No, I do like you guys. Uh, well, thank you. But, uh, oh, I don't know. You know, I like Jimmy Buffett music. Ooh, Jimmy and, Buffett, okay. And, you know, this will surprise people, but Coldplay. Yes. You know, I'm kind of into that. So Outstanding. Some, it, but... Uh, when I'm walking on a really hot day, I'm exercising outside, it's usually Jimmy Buffett. I always wonder what you're listening to. Yeah. Dr. Scott exercises all throughout campus, and he's got his headphones in. Right. I've so, often wondered. And lately, I've been on podcasts, so okay. I've been listening to some podcasts okay. as well. I get a little tired of the music, and then I go for something like that. But I also listen to the 60s. Outstanding. Okay. So, Very good. Favorite food? You know, I, I just, lately, that's about all I think about is food. And I, know that's, I know that's not very healthy, is it? Gosh, I just, uh, I don't know if it's the activity level, the stress or whatever, but, uh, but it's kind of funny. I'll go to sleep at night thinking about what I'm going to have for breakfast. That's, uh, I probably should talk to my therapist about that. But, uh, but anyway, uh, you know, it's not good for you, but I'm really on ice cream right now. And I just, it's, I'm pretty much out of control with it. So if, you, <laughs> if anybody sees me driving down Broadway, it looks like I'm turning into Freddy's, do not get in my way. Okay. I'm just telling you. It's, uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say stop you. No, okay, uh, okay. no, 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 no. It's like, do not get in my way. Okay. So uh, anyway, I just, I, I'm, I'm kind of old fashioned too, you know, roast beef, mashed potatoes. Good. Gluten-free gravy, got to throw that in there. <laughs> Some of those things are pretty good, too, but it's hard to beat a, a good shake or something I agree. Like Freddy's. I agree. <laughs> What's a surprising fact about you, Dr. Scott, that no one would know? No one would know. Probably that I'm six foot two. Okay. No, I maybe I can't sell that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? My life is a open book. I don't know if you know it, but where I live, I mean, people know when I come and go, what cars I drive, and so... I would find it hard to believe there are many facts about me that aren't uh, well known. Uh, I did once uh, teach at the junior high level. I don't know if people know that about me. No, I taught I junior high math okay. in Riverton. I River taught Riverton. Okay. Was that your first job out of it college? It was. And okay. I coached. And we were 0 and 8 that year as a football, <laughs> assistant football coach. <laughs> and I'll never forget, a, I can tell this other guy, I'll never forget, it's a farmer, great guy. His son was on the team, and about the time we were 0-6, he came in and wanted to meet with the coaches. And I'll never forget this saying. He said, you know how low you boys are? There were three coaches sitting there. See, we could have said, we don't really care to know, but we didn't say that. We said, well, how low are we? <laughs> he said, you guys are lower than a snake's belly crawling through a rut. <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty graphic. So my coaching time didn't really go very well. So when Tim Beck and those guys call plays and they call timeout or don't call timeout, they really don't have to worry about my knowledge of football. <laughs> because I think that guy down in Riverton is pretty much right about my skill in the area of coaching football. So I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Well, that's a new saying. We'll, have, a, to, we'll have to. You've never, put, heard, you never heard that before. I have not heard that, well, no. Yeah. I only heard it once, and I'll never forget <laughs> yeah, okay. it. Okay. And it was in 1974. 1974. Okay. Wow. Still there. We learned a new one today, yeah. Jacob. How about that? So, yeah. What's the favorite place you've ever visited in this world? Oh, my gosh. 
I can't even imagine what that'd be. I have been a lot of, I have been very blessed that I've traveled a lot. And I'm also blessed that I have a brother who lives in some really nice homes around the world, around the country. And I have just been in beautiful, beautiful places. But uh, wow, the, what was the question? Your favorite place you've ever visited. Well, the Crossland House is pretty nice. It, it, is, be <laughs> it is beautiful. That's a I, start, I, that's started, I started thinking about Nantucket or <laughs> Florida, you know, Destin and all these other places. And Destin is gorgeous, of course. Longboat Key. But you know, you look at that patio on Crossland House, it's gorgeous. You don't have a much better view of the lake it's and the just football stadium. And, and you know, one day Gene Bicknell came over and we had a glass of wine on the patio and, and Gene lives in a beautiful home in Florida. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful view. I've been there, visited with him, stayed overnight there. And he sat down as we were gonna to start to talk and he looked out at the, at the water, the lake, the bridge and everything. He, he just stopped, the conversation stopped and he said, this is beautiful. And I thought he's been a lot of places, yes. and he sees it too. So it'd be hard. To it beat, is. It'd be hard to beat that place. I'm it just is. Telling you, I agree with that. <laughs> Favorite athletics team besides the Gorillas? Well, it'd have to be the Chiefs. Oh. oh. I, yeah, I'm, I'm a Chiefs fan, and that's sometimes painful. Yes. But it we've is. been through some good years. We won a world championship at some point, didn't we? Way back in our history. Yeah. Before we but were born. Big, <laughs> that's right. A big fan. Of, I'm a big fan of Kendall Gammons, of course. And, uh, yes. And Andy Reid's a great coach, and so I enjoy watching them. And, and Dante Bosby, of course, he's on the team right great. now. Great. I hope he gets to make the team one of our grads. And, yes. But, uh, yeah, go Chiefs. Well, we're going to look forward to the next uh, football watching party on your, on your patio. There you go. That'd be great. You could do that. Outstanding. Yeah. What's your favorite part of campus? Yeah, that's a – since I've already talked about the house, uh, there's – I really like, of course, McCray's special. I talked about that, mm -hmm. but the uh, and we talked about the Bicknell Center. You know, we also mm -hmm. have to be pretty political here, but, but the arts, the art building, Porter, Porter Hall. Hall, that building is a gorgeous building with those the windows, the color of those windows, and there are moments when I walk to when I walk into work and I'll just stop and look at that, and uh, on the on the gables of each it has like science or philosophy. And uh, that's just a, it's just a powerful, powerful statement. And you know, one morning I was walking in and, and Joe Delasegu was riding his bike by. And, and he was riding his bike by just as I was looking down through the oval. It's gonna be on the other mm -hmm. side of Russ on towards McCray. Mm -hmm. I was looking down through the oval and it's just beautiful, you know. And I could tell my gait slowed as I walked, you know. And uh, Joe just happened to just, just right then drove by and he knew what I was doing. He knew I was taking it in. It was probably 6.30 in the morning, you know. And he said, you love this place, don't you? I said, yeah, yeah I do. You can tell, can't you? And off he went. It was, it was a moment. No, that's... It was a great moment. Well, so uh, lots of beautiful places on this Joe campus. can tell that about people, too. And this, this place is beautiful because people care about it. There's a tremendous amount mm -hmm. of pride in our landscaping group and, mm -hmm. and the students who work, you know, are here and the, and the faculty and staff who work here. They take pride in it, and it's beautiful because of them. Absolutely. Only two left. Oh my it's God. not really a rapid ten. Yeah, it is. But <laughs> well, I've really kind of delayed that. I, I What's your favorite you word? You can edit all that out. What's okay? your favorite word, Dr. Scott? My favorite word? Favorite word. Oh we are live. Gosh, Careful. awesome. Oh, Just go with that. Awesome. I thought it might have been wow, but. but I know I've used no, that. That's, I, I kind of moved on to awesome. I use that word too. Yeah. Your favorite emoji. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. And we, I've got to bring this I like up. It. I don't know if our audience has heard about the new Pitt State emojis that have come out. You can download them on your iPhone. You can download them on your Android. I just, I just happen to have a poster here that kind of shows you what these emojis look like. Well, those are cool too. So very cool. I mean, you know, you don't you don't need regular thumbs up and smiley faces anymore. You can do that's, pit state. That's pretty boring, isn't it? It Just is. I up. mean, compared to these. So we that's encourage great. you those to check awesome. those out. Those are awesome. Yes, they they are awesome. <laughs> they are awesome. Oh, pardon me for throwing that out. Absolutely. There. Well, that's that's our show today, and and we're very uh, privileged to have spent a lot of time with you this afternoon, Dr. Scott, and and. Uh, to get to know you a little bit better and uh, to get to know uh, why this is such an important place to you. And, and uh, once again, we, we appreciate your leadership and the fact that you're here. And uh, thank you for all you do for this university. Thanks, John. Thanks.